Today we're going to try out the engraving tip and the debossing tip that's available for the Cricut Maker. And we're going to try it on leather and see how well they work and if they're things that you should be purchasing or if yeah, they're any good at all. This is the engraving tip and this is the debossing tip. They come out really easily using this quick swap thing. You just push this button up here. You just have to make sure you shove it in the right side. So yeah, we have these two little tips here we're going to try out on leather. The depositing tip doesn't say anything about working with leather. The engraving tip says it's supposed to work with leather. I'm not convinced because honestly, it's so pointy. That looks like it's just going to do some damage, but let's find out how well it does. So normally if you're working with leather, um, you should be using the purple strong grip mat, but because we're not uh, cutting leather, I'm less worried about the leather actually moving around. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the leather. And as always, every time you work with leather, you always use transfer tape to, to save your mats or else all the fuzz will come out onto your mats. Gonna use the debossing tip first. Just like that. One trick with leather, especially um, one trick with veg tan leather, is that it helps to get it a little bit wet, a little bit damp. Even soaking it uh, can help you when you put want to imprint anything onto it. We're gonna want to make sure your rollers are not in the way here or else it will jam. Okay, but that's what the debossing looks like. You might be able to dye it after and get some depth out of it. But yeah, that's, so that's what the deboss function looks like. So let's try the engraving tip now. We'll see how that goes. That's what the engraving tip looks like. And it did pretty much what I thought it would do, which is basically just scratch it. It works. I mean, it works. It gets right in there and it's not going to go away. That's for sure. Um, but personally, I don't really love the look of it. It's okay. Maybe with some dyeing and some finishing, it could, it could look a lot better. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what this looks like. I wish the debossing got a little deeper. Um, and I wish this didn't cut it and I wish it just pushed down really hard essentially. And really, these would only really work on veg tan leather. Cricut sells this genuine leather, and there's no way that engraving would work very well on it. It would just, it basically just cut the surface finishing on the leather, and I mean, on the black, you wouldn't be able to see it except for in certain lights. So I, I definitely don't think that you can use the Cricut genuine leather with it. Um, I think you have to use veg tan if you want to engrave. I think the engraving tip is still really not the ideal for for engraving leather. I actually kind of want to try something, but this is prop this is going to just damage the engraving tip. So, I am curious though as to how this would work if I sanded it down just a little bit. I feel like that's a really dumb idea because I'm just throwing away this tip. But I kind of want to try it. So, I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try sanding it down. Let's see how that goes. It's a dumb idea. You can't really tell here, but I did basically just cut off, grind off that nub there just to make it a wee bit duller. So we'll see if that worked or if I completely just threw away my money, but I did it for you.
Um, do I think it does a good job still? Nah, I don't know. It's okay. Just the engraving tip itself, before you sand it down, it makes it, it's the most obvious, but it also kind of destroys your leather. Debossing tip. And it actually, it's not too bad. I don't necessarily love the look of it, but it definitely didn't do too bad of a job there. And then I sanded down the engraving tip and we're left with this one. Do I recommend doing that? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. And I don't regret throwing away my money, so. <laughs> After a little bit of uh, antique gel I applied on here, it looks a lot better. That's the regular engraving tool. This is the Deboss. And this is the sanded down engraving tool. So do I regret sanding down my engraving tip? Yes, probably. I probably shouldn't have done it, but for science, right? Yeah, so overall, I don't really know if this is something you really need. For myself, I don't really see myself using it, and that's not just because I sanded it down. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of the reason. That's part of the reason because I have a completely unusable engraving tip now because I destroyed it. This is not necessarily something I see myself using too much. Maybe I'm just trying to reassure myself that I don't need another one. <laughs> that I don't need to buy another one. Maybe, maybe that's it. So if you found this video helpful and interesting, or at the very least you pity me for destroying a tool, please like and subscribe. It is, uh, it is so appreciated. Thank you and I'll see you next week.